Okay. For those of you that don't know who I am, sorry, I had to check and make sure my mic is on. My name is Dom. And I'm also a motivational coach and a speaker and a mom and a grandma. I'm also a woman. So what I really want to talk about today is what everybody is hearing on the news about the reversal of Roe versus Wade. And this is a tough subject because it's very controversial. A lot of people have really, 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 really strong feelings, including myself. But what I really want to talk about today, when we're talking about these things that are so hard, because we all have best interest at heart, and it's not our own self best interest. It is the best interest of the whole. And I want to be totally transparent. I grew up in a very Christian community, went to church, Southern Free Will Baptist Church as well. And one of the things that you learn or are indoctrinated with is that it's a sin to kill another living being. And it is to a point. And this is where I'm going to probably have a lot of divide. Just keep the comments child friendly. Be nice to each other because we're all going to have different views. Me personally could not make that decision. And I feel for any woman or family that has to make that decision. I think what we don't talk about here is the lack of community. And that is something that I'm working hard on building is community. A community of warrior women that are looking for someone in a community that is just like them. That is going to help them along the dark path that opens up sometimes. Because sometimes we can't see the light. And right now a lot of you are going like we can't see that light because of that reversal. And when we're talking about those things, it really hurts my heart that as a society that we're still fighting over things that are personal, really intimate choices. Choices that, in all honesty, no woman should ever have to go through. You shouldn't have to decide on whether to do those things. You shouldn't have to. And then life, for a lot of us, I'm going to say I've been extremely, extremely lucky. I actually found my husband. We've been together now for over 33 years. We've been married for over 30. And I shudder to think if we would be in some of the situations that some people are, that they have to make that decision of whether they survive or somebody else in their family doesn't survive. There are a whole lot of layers 
to Roe versus Wade. And what a lot of people don't understand is there's always, always unintended consequences that goes with these decisions. And I can say that because I also work in justice reform. And I also work with people that a lot of the society deems as less than. And that's usually people that have been charged and convicted of sex offenses. And that's a whole nother ball of wax. Because just like that situation, we put a blanket fix that unfortunately causes so many unintended consequences. And those unintended consequences have a tendency to snowball. And from my perspective, I really don't want to get into the politics of Roe versus Wade. I really don't. What I want to come from it as is from a person, from woman to woman, to say that I am here for you. No matter what your choices, no matter what your decision. Because I'm not in your shoes. I don't know what led to a decision to whether to keep or not to keep. And those decisions are not light. At all. And I think a lot of people think those are very light decisions that people take lightly and just think of it as routine care. And it's not. Yes, do you have outliers with anything? Yes, you do. You honestly do. But as a woman myself, I can tell you that I am almost 50. My reproductive parts still work. And I'm at that point in my life to where if I'm not healthy, what kind of choices do I have? And yes, we have a lot of things to prevent pregnancies. But our education, and especially in the United States, is sorely lacking. And it's not that it's lacking from a personal standpoint. It is lacking because we're afraid to talk about how things work. We are afraid to have those hard conversations. And hence... That's why you end up with having legislation that sometimes is not for the good of the whole. That sometimes doesn't work. That sometimes causes more division than it helps with the community. And I know a lot of you are going like you are talking in circles and I probably am. But I want you to understand that I come from this a place of love. I don't come from a place of division. Because I want every woman that sees or hears this video to understand that you are loved. And that if you need somebody to talk to, you can definitely DM me. You can message me. Put in the subject line what you want to talk about because a lot of messages I'll ignore if you're a scammer or if you're doing this hey girl stuff. I don't answer those. I'll drop those like a hot potato. But I want to have real true conversations. And I want you to know that you're loved. Because my heart hurts 
for those of you that are caught up in this web on both sides because there is no easy answers and if we all lived in a perfect world we wouldn't have to have these discussions we can be the community that that mom needs and say hey mama I have you I have you so that you don't have to make that decision hey mama I can get you those diapers that formula those clothes I can help you pay for transportation I can help you with these things but unfortunately that's not the world we live in at the moment but you can be part of that world you can start by doing those things and for those of you that are just like me that that mama might need to have just a talk to you and say this is my fears this is my concerns this is my decision then you love them where they're at don't condone them don't preach at them because that's the last thing they need they need love and how are we going to do that as a society when we keep tearing each other apart the whole premise of what I do is to tell people how much you're loved you are the beacon of hope. You are unstoppable. And to see sometimes in some respects that we may be going backwards when in reality we're breaking open a lot of things that really need to be looked at and need to be discussed. Maybe it wasn't right. More likely, it really isn't right. However, I come from a place of love and understanding because I am so thankful that I never had to be put in that situation. That I never had to make that decision. And if I have to make that decision now, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy. Because there are so many factors. We have health issues. We have poverty issues. We have lack of support issues. We have so many things that a lot of people aren't talking about. I value life. I value every single person that watches this video's life. And I hope none of you ever have to be put in that situation. And those of you that are watching it that had to be put in that situation, my heart goes out to you. Because I used to be one of those people that would judge. And I'm going to tell you, having a younger son incarcerated has a tendency to knock you off your freaking high horse a whole lot. And I have no room for people that judge, ever. Because we don't know what's going on in another person's life. We don't know the whole circumstances. So I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And you're loved no matter what decision you make. And if you need another woman to talk to, I am more than willing to put aside some time of my day to talk to you. Because you need to know that you're supported, you're loved, no matter what decision you make. Because it is hard. It's not easy. So thank you for listening. And like I said, keep comments respectful. Because I love every single one of you. But if the comments get really bad, they will be deleted. I will not tolerate it. Love y'all. You are loved. You are unstoppable. 
And you are the beacon of hope.